Hi you guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Derek, also known as Tap Peddler. This is um, Richard, as you know. Hello. He's up here um, helping me fix my barn roof. So, uh, <laughs> so we're gonna be getting on with that in the next few days, but today it's a boot sale day. Um, so we're off to the boot sale. Went to one yesterday and filled the car up. Aim is today, hopefully do the same thing. And um, we've both got our George trolleys um, so we're going to be out in force, in the fields, um, picking those bargains. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a camera. Um, I'll show you um, us going around the boot sale, hopefully doing some deals, picking up some good stuff. And um, when I get back, I'm going to show some items that I bought today and um, how much I expect to get for it on eBay and Etsy. So I hope you enjoy the video and um, we'll see you at the boot sale. How much is your pig thing? Uh, I think it's not quite a pig thing. Yeah. Is that a That's it, I'm just like, like, uh... How much is your video record? Thanks, mate. How much is the video? Well, this is the other one, you've got to look at the bottom. A fiver for it? You've got the remote to talk. Pardon? You've got the remote to talk. Um, do you know what? They're going to have a little bit of it. Is there a remote to talk? No, it's just a VCR. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Did you take four for it? Yeah, I go for it. Go for yeah. it. I haven't seen it. Oh, I just can saw the CD for the next one. But it's, at the moment it's not working. Right. Um, I'm just going to check. Yeah. But my little set, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I think I want just a five in as well, to be honest. Um, they've got speakers to come with it as well, these big ones here, if you want to go for those. It's got the remote there. I think it's just a CD player, but it can be fixed. I think just at the moment it's just... Not working. It's for my granddad, so he knows more about it than I do. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'll never think about that. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Thank you. Oh, of course, no problem. Thank you. There you go. That's perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Vintage, old, sensible soccer. And how much is it? How much is it? 25. It's all been tested. Right. I'll take it for 20. Right. Okay, no worries. You can buy one eBay for that 15. Yeah, that's a 
Well, how much is that? Well, I don't know. There's a couple of pounds for that. Yeah, do, I'll try do, and get it all away. Yeah, two pounds? Yeah. Two pounds, yeah? Yeah, I'll take, I'll take yeah, that yeah. as well. You have six pounds here. How much is your radio here? Sorry for it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi there. Oh, she wants to be a little chair. Well, uh, the chair's too far, though. Okay. Yeah, could I put it at the back? Oh, well. Wow. Games as well. Just to get rid of them. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Um, yeah, if you've got a little bad thing, yeah. that'd be good. Then. Thank you. 
them for a pound right? How much are your board games there? How much are you, Patsy? Sorry. Sorry. Board games. Uh, the, the original Monopoly, that's £7, because no. they're selling for over 10 online. The Pudo is five. Yeah. And just whatever you want to offer for all the other things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Seven square. 
they sell for ten or online. Don't you buy walking shoes? Really, so that's a car. We come here for a bus, we don't come to run. Do you know what's wrong with that at all? This one? Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. The fat thing. Do you know what's wrong with that at all? It doesn't start. It's like one, one beat and that's it. Oh, right, okay. How much do you have pressure cooker? Pressure cooker, fair enough. How much is your little lever? I'll give that for eight quid. Okay. It comes with that, does it? It's a spare bike here, mate. Right. You can take a five or five, would you? Sorry? You can take a five? No, I, I need a bit more. Yeah. I mean, they're bloody expensive things, aren't they? Can you take any less for it? Can you take any less? Six? Uh, seven. Seven quid. Yeah, go, I'll do it for seven. I'm going to have to go back to the car. Too much stuff. Okay, so that's us back from the boot sale. Um, the car is full again, so I'll show you what we actually got. Okay, so the last haul videos I've been doing, it's taken quite a while to get through them and stuff like that, and it's taken quite a lot of time. Um, so I'm just going to show a selection of stuff. Um, so basically filled the car again but I'm going to show maybe 10-15 things um, so no particular order here picked up these these are quite towards the end of the boot sale um, I remember seeing these I couldn't remember where but um, I looked them up and yes they're probably worth about 15 to 20 pound each there's a little bit of um, I don't know if it's pen mark or something on there so I'm hoping to get them clean but yeah, I'll probably sell them separately. Um, if I can't get these clean, maybe bundle them. I've just got to have a look. But yeah, these are boobers. <laughs> Next up, you've seen me pick up these before. Camcorders. Um, this is a Sony Handycam Video 8. So you've got the camera, charger, user manual, TV wire, battery all that sort of stuff um, I think that will probably be worth around sort of the 60 pound so I picked up this connect I actually picked up two connects today and I picked up one that had about five or six different games with it I'm not sure of the current value of these I'm guessing around sort of 15 pound bundle with this and games so this one came on its own, but as I said, I had the other uh, the other um, connect as well. So I, I split the games across. Um, so I had two nice little bundles there. And uh, once I've listed one, I'll be quick to list the other. So nice little pickup there. Okay, so I picked up this Game Boy. It's got batteries in. Should be able to... So comes comes with... Um, a load of games in the bag 20 pound the lot he wouldn't take any left so I'll just show you the games just quickly so I've got Tetris in the in the Game Boy itself I've got Tetris 2 
I've got Othello, Alleyway, Solitaire, Boxall, Snoopies, Quas, and Lemmings. I'm not really sure on the value of the games. Um, I will be looking them up, but if anybody wants to comment, if you see anything in that lot that might be worth maybe more than £15 on its own, then let me know. But I will be looking at that. Um, otherwise, I'll just do it as a huge bundle. I've actually got a couple of um, Game Boy games as well that I'd probably stick with it. Um, some old sports games, I think. So I'll probably put them. So I'm going to have a Game Boy, original Game Boy with... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think I've got a couple of games. So maybe around 10 games and the Game Boy. So I think um, well over £20 anyway. I'm not sure of the actual price, but I um, don't know how much they currently go for. But it seems to fully work. So um, yeah, nice listing. Okay, so picked up this. Um, this is one of those things that if you go to the doctor's, they stick it in your ear to, I think they look in there, don't they? It's like a scope thing. Otto scope, maybe. Um, it's got some attachments and it's got the main thing in the box. It's made by Keeler. So, yeah, I'm not sure on value there, but I'm hoping about 30 to 40 pounds, maybe. I did look it very quickly up at the time, um, but it may be worth a bit more. I need to do some research on the actual model number, but... Um, yeah, I can't remember how much that cost me, um, but plenty of profit on that one. Next up was um, these Nike Airs. Um, they look nice and clean. These are uh, a little bit smaller than what I'd want really, but the UK 6.5, uh, but they're nice and clean. Um, fairly quick to list, little wear on them. Um, so. Yeah, I'm not sure on price. Air Force Ones, these are I'm guessing sort of 25 to 30 on those. Okay, so when you're at boot sales, it's always good to do a little rummage through the uh, boxes that are on the floor. There was a box, like a crate, it was 50p. Everything was 50p in there. Rummaging through, they had things like USB cables, plugs, um, general adapters and that sort of thing. There was a Rode Angel Plus which I have sold this sort of thing before and they used to fetch decent money. Not sure about it anymore. It's just a unit on its own, so it'll be like a replacement unit. Um, but for 50p, that's worth going on. I actually bought a few things from this guy and he gave us slightly different, you know, maybe a couple of free things. Um, Sony adapter. I'm not sure what this is for, but it's 19.5 volts, maybe for a laptop or something. Um, can't really lose on that for 50p because that will be maybe 15 pound or something for that genuine sony and again another genuine sony so always look through those little boxes and um, you always find little gems okay so i picked up this tv um purely for myself and i'll tell you why this is for my testing rig so i can test electronics vcrs and dvd players and that sort of thing um, and the reason being, my current TV doesn't have HDMI and this one does. So the benefits of this, it's nice and small, so it's compact. It fits in the photos so I can show an item working um, when I take the photo. It's got HDMI, it's got VGA, so I can also test um, older computers and stuff, but I generally don't bother doing that. It's got standard aerial port, it's got SCART cable, it's also got the yellow, white and red um, composite input. So all the inputs I need in one place. Um, it's really useful and um, it will replace my current TV, which only has skirt. So I've got now got HDMI because before I was bringing HDMI items through to my living room, testing them on my living room TV. I have to disconnect my sky box and that sort of thing. It's a lot of hassle. Now I can do everything um, on this TV. So you've probably seen me pick up these before. Um, Shiatsu Cushion, um, Home Medics brand, so it's a decent brand. Um, yeah, 
it's just you just put it behind your your back or your shoulders and it just massages you um so yeah standard sale really um not sure on the current value of these um i was getting about sort of 20 pound 30 pound for this sort of brand um but not this particular one i'm gonna have to look this one up but yeah usually worth picking up so I picked up this, um, this is a Sega Game Gear wide gear um, and I think, yeah, it's just the magnification of the screen. Um, I don't think it's new, but it's in the box with the manual, um, so it's a nice item. And I think when I looked that up at the boot sale, it was around sort of 25 to 30, so um, lots of profit there, um, didn't cost me much, um, nice item. Okay, so a couple of videos ago, I think you probably saw me pick up a chair like this, or a stool rather. It's for the kitchen, vintage thing from 1960s or something. Um, and I sold it um, last night um, online. So today, this one was there. He wanted quite a lot more, more for it than I paid for the other one. Um, and it's the same sort of condition paid up a little bit on it I did get a discount um, but yeah this one will go on for probably around 60 pound picked up this which is from Toy Story I think Toy Story 3 I think um, it's a bit beaten up it's missing the spoiler it's got a bit of a dodgy aerial there it comes with Woody and Buzz who sit on it, it comes with the remote it's not the Thinkway Toys one, it's the IMC Toys one. Maybe £15 if I'm lucky, I think. But I'm hoping that maybe I might even part it out. Uh, I'm not sure. It's, a sh it's just a shame about the broken spoiler. Uh, but it was really, really cheap, so it was worth going on. Um, but yeah, worth, worth getting, I think. Picked up this, which is... PlayStation 4 comes with remote control. This, as you can see here, spares or repairs. He says it powers on, then powers straight off again. Um, but I got it, not for the 30 pounds, I got it for 20 pounds. He has, somebody, somebody at least has been in, inside it. So the, the security seal is broken. Um, so I'm gonna check this out probably won't try and repair it or anything like that but um, hopefully it's still good profit even though it's broken and it's also boxed it's in the original box although I think it's missing some of the packaging I picked up this which may be the best buy of the day this is an Atari XZ video game system um, not many on eBay and not many sold I reckon resale probably talking around 300 pound um, so I'll show you what's in the box this is the box and I've got all the polystyrene packing keyboard the actual games console there all the manuals all the cables joystick cartridges so yeah hopefully it's more or less complete um, so I'm going to aim high on that because I never see them usually. So that will be a thing where I aim high and just wait out for the price off a GSP. Um, you know, have nice pictures, show it working. Hopefully it does work. Um, yeah, if it doesn't work, what I'll do, I'll probably part it out and sell the bit separate keyboard, cartridges, that sort of thing. I'll have to investigate, but fingers crossed it will work. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that little haul. Um, as I said, I'm not gonna um, show all the items I buy now each week because it's taken far too long. Boot sale season's really, really in its stride now. Um, I'm going to two boot sales a week, so I'm picking up a lot of stuff. Filled my car yesterday at a Saturday car boot sale and today I filled the car again. So um, it's far too much to show. Um, and I need to get it listed, get it into my storage, that sort of thing. So um, I really need to keep the hauls as, as quick as possible um, so I can get on with get on with work. 
So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please think about subscribing to the channel. You can hit the like button, you can subscribe, you can ring the bell. Um, so please do all those good things and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.